I would say a good like 75 to 80 percent of the day I'm kind of in my office. Designing fabric for high-end department stores and hotels, barely leaving her desk, even for lunch. I'll just grab something and take it to my desk and eat it. Rapidly packing on the pounds and more. You know, and like I was, wasn't handling stress in the best way that I could. Enough to send people running to the gym, but Lindsay Baker found out something far more alarming. Looks good. Than the number on her scale. My fitness age starting out was 47. I'm 31 years old. Wow. Yeah, so pretty big difference there. So what she's talking about is her real age, what's called her health or fitness age. How old she is here biologically versus her 31 birthdays. Her fitness age at that time was 47, which was crazy to me that she wasn't married yet. She didn't even have children yet. Five. Don't forget to breathe. Fitness guru Danielle Zakami wasted no time tailoring her exercise, nutrition, and more. I mean, she had some hard road ahead of her as far as keeping on track with that fitness lifestyle. You do have to allow time for your health or it'll catch up to you. Dr. Victoria Falcone does not treat Lindsay, but she sees countless patients just like her at her functional medicine practice specializing in the science behind your true age or lifeline. It's actually astounding. She says the answer is right there in your cells, your DNA caps at the tips of each chromosome called telomeres. The longer your telomeres, the longer you're going to live. And vice versa, depending on your lifestyle. Smoking, obesity, stress, those things accelerate the rate at which your telomeres shorten. But she says there's more. How we manage our nutritional intake, sleep habits, and exposure to toxins from food, chemicals, and the environment. This explains why some people live very, very long lives and some people live a very short life. She says a simple blood test tells all. Take it to a specialty lab. This chart shows the doctor's fitness health. So I'm green, I'm above the black line, which means that my telomeres are longer than they should be at my age. She's in her 40s, scoring in her 30s. So you're doing well. I'm doing well, I'd like to do better. <laughs> she admits some doctors still question the newer technology. We don't learn this stuff in medical school. As well as other advancements, she says, in preserving health even after cell damage is done. Once you shorten them, you can't get them back. It might take years for us to discover those technologies. In the meantime, she says you can really slow down your fitness aging process while you grow older chronologically. This could be your wake up call. How are your cells doing? What Lindsay's been doing for the past year, walking that massive fabric warehouse, hitting the gym, sleeping and eating better, is working. I went from 275 to 185, so I've lost 90 pounds so far. I went from like a size 22 down to like a size like 10 in dress sizes. And she just got the best physical and lab results in years. And so today my fitness age is 24. Now your fitness age number may vary depending on the method you use to calculate it. We have some links that might help you at myfoxphilly.com. Now some are free, some are not, but all are designed to get your attention in a matter of life or death. The question becomes, what are you willing to do about it? Joyce Evans, Fox 29 News.